welcome to the SPC India webinar on SMEs are from Mars and writers are from Venus by Anuj Kapoor. Um, SPC India would like to thank Adobe for being the webinar sponsor. Now Anuj, you can uh, start the session. Yeah, thanks Manisha. Uh... First of all, I would like to thank uh, STC India for giving this opportunity to speak about this topic on uh, SME, uh, SMEs are from Mars and technical writers are from Venus. And secondly, I would like to also thank editing SIG owner uh, for giving this opportunity to uh, speak about this topic. Uh, uh, STC India wants to thank Adobe also for being the webinar sp sponsor basically for allowing us to uh, uh, having this conduct this webinar through uh, uh, Adobe uh, 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 through, through Adobe so uh, welcome all to this uh, webinar on uh, this interesting topic so uh, as you can see uh, this topic on SMEs are from Mars and technical writers are from Venus uh, well uh, the first thing that comes across uh, I mean uh, what is the first thing that comes across into your mind I mean it's, it's sounds like a very interesting topic isn't it SMEs are from Mars and technical writers are from Venus uh, well SMEs and technical writers as you can, as we will see in the uh, 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 further slides the relationship between these these two people is just like a relationship between a husband and a wife a new uh, I mean basically a new, newly married couple basically so uh, I mean it's, it's like means we uh, we interact we as writers interact too much with the SMEs and there are a lot of uh, I means other uh, I means misconceptions that uh, that are there but uh, again we we, uh, we are expert in our own fields SMEs are expert in their own area and technical and we writers are expert in our own, in our own area but still they are i mean the, the way we communicate with them it's very important how uh, how we communicate and, and understand uh, means uh, who uh, who this means are basically when we are working along with them so this this whole session is all about uh, that basically So, uh, I means in this slide, I basically I am trying to introduce myself. Uh, I means I I uh, come with a wide vast range of experience of around 12 years uh, in the ATI industry. Uh, presently, I'm working as a senior ID uh, in IBM uh, India Private Limited, uh, where I'm I, I'm in the in instructional design field, and I'm an avid blogger and social media enthusiast. Uh, I've uh, worked as as a volunteer in various initiatives STC India, and presently I am working as a I am uh, I'm the ID SIG owner for STC India. Uh, in case of any issue, you can uh, uh, contact me on this mail ID provided into the uh, in this slide, and you also have the LinkedIn and Facebook uh, icons where you can uh, probably connect me on Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, these are the objectives of this session. So, uh, as I uh, told you earlier, uh, at the end of this session, wa what we will uh, uh, do is we will explain briefly, uh, go through the role of this me, uh, and also I will. Uh, what I will uh, do is to explain the role of technical writer uh, from me point of view uh, as to how me understand the role of. Uh, the writers and also then I will uh, try to list some of the challenges faced or rather uh, I would say that we would, uh, uh, would try to uh, find out some of the challenges you face while communicating with the SMEs and uh, then uh, I, I would uh, try to provide a kind of how to guide on how, how you should improve the SME writer relationship uh, last but not the least, I would uh, list few resources that you can refer uh, to after the presentation. So, uh, first thing, 
this is this is a question for you uh, has communicating with your uh, subject matter experts or smes been a wonderful experience uh, well uh, i mean it's, it's uh, i mean you can answer that uh, this question uh, i mean say yes or no or or maybe uh, i mean maybe uh, i mean in case you have uh, you, you haven't interacted much with smes so uh, you can uh, uh, means you can do that while uh, you are going through the webinar uh this is the dilbert comic strip that uh, i have taken so this is a kind of cartoon where uh, i mean the whole scenario is going on between a developer and a writer where i mean where it kinds of uh, lists uh, provides a background of or a, a kind of communication between going on between the writer and a, a sme and how it uh, how it uh, brings about a humor uh, i mean between a, a writer and a sme and kind of uh, let us know i uh, mean uh, the differences in communication on uh, i mean Uh, uh, the writer and the SME has basically, while while the writer is uh, is communicating with the SME. So moving ahead to uh, this slide, uh, I mean in this slide I am going to uh, talk about the role of the SME. Uh, a SME is basically a domain expert, or you can say he's an individual. Uh, he's he, he's a person who. Who uh, who, under, who understands a business process or an area? He is someone who has uh, who is thorough uh, with his knowledge of all the job requirements, and he has he is an individual who brings valuable expertise and insights into his own topic, into his own uh, area of interest, basically. So basically, as we is an expert in his own field so i mean while you are going uh, to have a meeting with uh, with your sme so just understand that uh, don't don't think of him as a just a layman user uh, layman user or layman person but consider him that he is an expert in his own area so and he has uh, a lot of inputs you can uh, i mean gather from and he is the person from whom you would be uh, means taking a lot of uh, feedback and taking a lot of uh, insights and expertise to develop a document basically so uh, another question now uh means uh, this uh, this is a question which i would like you to type your responses in the chat window uh, but Uh, I mean, you can do that. I mean, anywhere you want to. Uh, maybe uh, if you want, you can also email me uh, your responses as to what you think, uh, or if you can provide any instance that you find uh, where you find find it difficult while communicating with your SMEs, or any challenge, uh, any situation where uh, you found that uh, I mean. Uh, it it was very difficult while uh, communicating with your smes so uh, i mean it's your opportunity to uh, i mean uh, 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 provide that instance to me uh, you can you can email me or probably you can uh, uh, i mean uh, post uh, in any comments uh, on my facebook also i mean so uh, so, so that we can uh, uh, mean communicate for further so once uh, you uh, 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 i'm sorry so uh, these are the challenges these are the general challenges that uh, means we as writers normally face while working with uh, these apart from the challenges that uh, you will uh, i mean uh, write off or send over to me these are the some basic some uh, usual challenges that we face one of the ba most important challenges the that uh, is the uh, different project timelines uh, yosmi uh, may be involved in very 
peculiar uh, project timelines or they might they might be some sub cases where uh, SMEs are involved in uh, very crunch projects and they might not be able to uh, give time to you so that that is the major challenge uh, that we writers face especially uh, i mean uh, with my experience uh, i uh, what i have faced in my entire career is that the uh, uh, i mean while i inter while i interact with the smes they are too busy in their own uh, projects that they uh, sometimes it it becomes really really difficult uh, for me to uh, i mean interact with them in that in that project timelines second most important challenge is that uh, which is well connected to the different project timelines is that they are very busy and hard to get into contact with uh, means sometimes uh, we, we can't even reach out to them uh, probably through email or i means uh, or through even a phone uh, phone call most in most cases uh, especially in my cases where uh, we are mostly working globally uh we are only available through uh, chat or uh, email or, or phone and uh, and, and mostly the speeds are uh, i mean global which uh, which are uh, geographically located to uh, uh, i mean outside india so uh, the only option left is through email so that is very limited and then it, it becomes really very difficult when a sme is really busy and uh, he is not responding to your email uh, i mean even even after reminding uh, uh, too many times so that is another big challenge uh, that we writers normally face while communicating with the smes third and the last and the most important is that they are sometimes or i would say they are almost hesitant to share the key information with us writers which me it, it this means that uh it, it most happens that uh, means uh, the uh, the uh, smes are very reluctant to share uh, the key information so this uh, this has happened to me uh, quite a lot of times where uh, uh, means i have tried of convinced them to uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, inquire about certain information but they were not very keen in sharing that key information uh, just uh, i mean to uh, 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 to the case where where uh, because they are experts in their own field and they uh, i mean they thought that why should i share the information uh, with, with you because this information is very private to me or uh, means probably i have taken pains in uh, learning this piece of information so I means they they have their own specific reasons why they don't want to share but uh, the whole crux is that uh, they are not very reluctant to share that piece of information with us writers so uh, how to deal with these challenges what are the things we can we should do uh, in order to overcome these challenges while uh, communicating with smes so in next couple of slides let let us look at how we can improve the uh, relationship of uh, we writers as well as the smes uh before we go on uh, means before before we go ahead with the uh, uh means uh, uh with the process of uh improving the sme writer relationship let's uh, first understand what this me uh, uh how how this me take uh, uh, us as the role of technical writer so according to sme a technical writer uh, should have a fundamental or a, I mean, some some basic knowledge of the concept that uh, means that has been talked about or that has been dealt with so for instance if we are writing about travel uh, travel and transportation industry so they uh, so, so they have their own conception that we should have some basic knowledge of uh, travel and tra transportation and the uh, uh, but the uh, general conception is that we we writers cannot have 
means knowledge of all the things because uh, means we, we letters are like uh, master jack of all master of none so uh, uh, i mean this is the kind this is the kind of conception that smees have about us that we uh, we should be jack of all but master master of none so uh, a second and the, this is the most important thing we uh, obviously uh, we are technical writers so we should always have better writing in our uh, language skills because that is what we are paid for that is what we uh, uh, that is the bread and butter uh, for us writers basically uh third and the most important thing is that uh, we should be able to communicate well uh, in, in our uh, in, in addition to the uh, writing and language skills we also should be able to communicate well uh, um, and this doesn't just mean written communication it also means oral communication which uh, which means that if we are not able to communicate to this means then how we are we will be able to communicate that piece of information to the users so that is one key aspect that means expect uh, uh, expect from us as writers to be able to communicate well in addition to the writing ability then uh, they also expect writers to uh, love our job and, and appreciate other job as well so uh, which means that we we uh uh i mean we writers should not only love our job basically but also should appreciate his mees jobs or his mees role as well we shouldn't be uh, taking their job role as granted or uh, or shouldn't look down upon any any particular role or shouldn't try to uh, take on their uh, job role uh i mean like just to enhance our expertise or shouldn't even try to uh, make ourselves uh, understand in the whole process of communication that uh, well i want I, i am communicating with you uh, because i want to move from a role of writer to probably a business manager or uh, or expert role in the whole process of communication we should always try to ensure that i am a writer and i love my job and i am here to help you uh, uh, or basically i am here to uh, communicate some piece of information you are and seek your advice or seek your in, uh, insight on that on a piece of information to help a user properly to understand that information so that way it will be it, it will look good uh, and also uh, allow me to uh, to connect uh, uh, with our me basically uh last but not the least smees love to work with technical writers who are thoroughly professional so uh which means that uh uh, uh i mean if, if we are able to meet our deadlines or work well with the uh, team members or if we are able to uh, take any ownership of our work then uh, obviously smees will uh, uh, take some uh, uh we will we will take some pride uh, from for, uh, from our smees and they will always be able to uh, work with us or appreciate us as well uh at this point of time i just uh, wanted to uh, i mean uh, at, at this point of time i just wanted to uh, tell you that uh, i mean uh, overall through all these slides uh what we have gone through is the uh, i mean basic uh, uh role of a spe basically or, or we we should say uh what how uh, I mean spe understands the uh, role of technical writer and then what are the challenges that we we face normally uh while communicating with this mees uh in next couple of slides what we will go through is the uh, process of how to uh, Uh, interact with this me and how to better the relationship between this me and the writers so uh how to improve this me writer relationship it's a four step process basically so let's look at the four step process first step is the 
prepare or uh, uh, this is the first step of how uh, how we should improve the speed writer relationship and that is prepare which means that uh, before even we uh, try to uh, improve the uh, uh, while we are trying to improve the speed writer relationship we need to prepare ourselves we uh, we need to do some research work and we uh, and we need to uh, prepare some uh, prepare a questionnaire or a list of questions uh, what we need to uh, 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 ask uh, ask this me about the concept we need to be very thorough uh, what we need to uh, ask this me because uh, as as uh, we know that their time is precious and i would like to stress on this fact that smee's time is really precious and you would and i would like you to keep this in bold because uh, smee's time is really precious and we ca- uh, i mean we have fought a lot of times with our managers to get this time and uh, and our managers also fought with the smees and they, and their managers to get their time basically and we not we may not be able to uh, get their time so it is very important uh as a first step to prepare ourselves for this uh, uh in fact for the first interaction with me because as as the saying goes first impression is the last impression so uh prepare yourselves prepare well and well, well advanced uh, if, uh even before you interact with this me uh prepare a questionnaire kind of thing where uh, uh, or prepare a list of questions uh, 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 for my personal experience what i normally do is i prepare a deck basically uh, a deck or a powerpoint presentation uh means uh, on the list of uh, 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 queries i have on the uh, uh, on the particular concept uh, what i do is i first of all begin with the uh, problem or uh, of of that particular project i am working on and then uh, the solution that uh, we uh, we are going to provide uh, just a brief no, i do not uh, keep it uh, 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 at all lengthy because i know that uh, this me time is very really precious and we may not have enough time maybe 30 minute uh, maybe a 30 minute call or uh, or maybe even less than that maybe 15 minutes so in that 15 minutes i need to just run through the uh, presentation where i uh, means just briefly tell about the problem and then the solution and then the uh, list the queries i have uh, or list the questions that i have uh, i mean where i list down uh, in a form of list that is 1 2 3 and uh, then uh, uh, and also provide a agenda uh, i mean as to what needs to be done in 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 that particular call next is ask this this step is just correlated to prepare where we have kind of uh, we have already listed all the uh, queries and uh, uh, next come is we need to ask this means uh, those uh, questions so uh, one thing i would like to uh, tell you is that we as writers shouldn't hesitate in asking this means uh, uh, a question twice or thrice because uh, uh the more we ask the more rapport we build with this means the more uh, understanding and, and the more uh, uh, uh confidentiality we uh, attain with this means so uh, uh, also we also uh, we shouldn't just uh, hesitate that oh this question might be uh, too stupid or this question might be a very minor one to ask Uh, because for us it might be a small one but for the uh, layman user it might be a very uh, big question so we should consider uh, ourselves we should uh, uh, first uh, this is the basic uh, thing for technical writers that we should empathize with the users and once we empathize with them we we should uh, ask the questions from their end uh, so uh, it would be like uh, as if uh the writer is not asking a uh, layman user is asking this me those questions so from that perspective we should uh ask the uh, we should always keep on asking uh, questions uh 
or any kind of information uh, on a particular concept we can even ask for any artifacts that uh, SME can provide on like uh, means I remember in one particular uh, uh, one particular instance where I had uh, means an interaction with SMEs uh, uh, we uh, 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 we had asked our SMEs to provide some artifacts or some presentations or some uh, uh, documents that, that they can provide as a reference and SME was really uh, understanding and appreciative of the fact that we wanted to understand the concept so the, he was very happy to share those documents with us and then uh, he also <coughs> excuse me so he shared those documents with us so it, it is all uh, means it is always good to ask uh, ask question ask about <coughs> ask uh, uh, about any any particular information that will help us in uh, means uh, developing the document and then in the end uh, we can even ask about their own personal trust just to build a, a rapport with them just to build a <coughs> excuse me just to uh, build a rapport uh, with the SMEs third step is to follow up now uh, in this step what we do is that once we once the uh, call with this is over uh, then the next step is to follow up with them uh, maybe send up a thank you note uh, after the call is over uh, that thanks for your time and uh, patience and uh, it was uh, i mean just send send them a thank you note or just them the uh, uh, a thank you card for uh, uh, for being understanding and uh, means uh, uh, and also uh, maybe after uh, if if a SPE has asked and if you have asked for a particular document and uh, means they have asked you to uh, uh, means and and they have uh, asked you to send it in a couple of days and you haven't received it so you just follow up with them to uh, just just send them a friendly reminder that. Okay, so uh, uh, during our conversation, we had uh, you had asked us to uh, send those documents. Can you provide us those documents? Just just a friendly reminder, or maybe a follow up note on some feedback uh, you uh, you might inquire from the SMEs basically. So that is also essential for improving the SME writer relationship. Uh, just note that in this friendly reminder, uh, uh, don't be uh, authoritative or don't be argumentative just be as appreciative as you can and also try to understand that uh, SMEs are humans and they they will uh, they will have tendency to forget because uh, they they're uh, they, uh, they are busy and they they have their own project timeline so if they have forgotten so uh, it's our responsibility to follow with them to uh, probably uh, uh, SMEs in order to uh, uh, I mean, uh, in order to improve the SME writer relationship. So uh, the last and the final step is to say thank you. Uh, this this is the basically a uh, step which which should come after every step. Uh, but uh, finally, when the project is over, uh, I mean, you should be always be appreciative of the fact of uh, uh, that they have spent so much of time and effort in uh, in helping you to develop the document. Uh, I mean, apart from their busy schedule, so you must appreciate them uh, uh, by sending them a thank you card or a token of appreciation uh, to say to say thank you. Uh, 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 means. In order to in order to build a rapport for future projects, basically, uh, it doesn't take much time to say those two words, thank you to uh, to this me, but it is really uh, very. Uh, it looks professional uh, to the SMEs and also allows you to build a great rapport with uh, with the SMEs. So. Uh, now we are in the slide where I would uh, like you to uh, go through some of the best practices that you can take home 
uh, or you must remember while you are communicating with the SMEs. First and foremost, uh, you must educate the SME about the audience profile for whom you will be developing the document. Uh, well, the SMEs are not aware uh, of the audience profile. It's you who are aware. So uh, it's your responsibility to uh, provide that information to the SME and how and where you would do it. You would do it in the in the first call itself when you are interacting with when you initiate the call. So uh, you it's your responsibility to tell them who is the audience and who uh, who are you writing this document for and and it's our responsibility to uh, clearly uh, uh, means educate them uh, means uh, while directing them uh, means to a piece of information you may even uh, send out a design document if you may have created mm -hmm. uh, so that they can have a look at it on the uh, nitty gritties of the project basically where they can go through the entire piece of information on what is this project all about or, what, uh, or who is the target audience and stuff like that so that will give them a bigger picture of the entire project or entire documentation and they will know exactly how to uh, and how and where to fit in the information because without that you uh, uh, this means will not won't be able to help you and uh, you will be in a, uh, a blinded position also the second uh, I mean, we, uh, I have stated this fact uh, more uh, uh, more than uh, that uh, more than many times in this uh, session. But I would I would like to stress it again that be prepared with the exact agenda. Uh, I mean, while you are interacting with this piece, make sure. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, I would. Uh, this is the best practice that I would I, I would like to give uh, uh, as I I also practice it that. Uh, Recommended uh, uh, thing is that you should prepare a deck, maybe uh, means they, that way you will know uh, uh, you and your SMEs will know what are you talking about uh, means and uh, be very clear about the agenda and have it uh, means make it very crisp and short because you know that SMEs time is very really precious so I uh, means you just need to keep it short. Uh, just, just know that. Uh, just ensure that the SMEs, uh, you and the SME, know of the uh, topics or the questions that you are talking about. Third, a uh, third and the most important thing is ask, ask, ask questions whenever you do not understand any any anything. Uh, whenever you are talking of any, uh, when you, uh, whenever you have asked any question, and in case you are not able to understand what the SME have told just clarify that uh, straight away don't uh, means wait until the uh, uh, until it has boi boiled over or don't wait until uh, means uh, the last minute because that may affect your documentation and that in turn may affect the uh, future of the project as well so the most important thing is ask ask questions ask don't think that this question might be very, really, very stupid to ask. Just, just, in, uh, just ensure from the user point of view that this question might be important for the project. Fourth uh, thing is that you, you need to summarize what your SME have said in in your in, in in the overall communication process, just to ensure that you have understood uh, correctly. Just don't uh, just. You, you don't just summarize each and every topic, uh, but just uh, they just summarize at the end that whatever you have understood, so that the uh, SME knows that you have understood uh, the concept. And keep on uh, in in your process of communication, just don't be silent. Just just keep on saying, uh, using the words like hmm, ha, uh, hmm, okay. Just keep don't being so silent because that also create a uh, kind of negative impact on the uh, SME basically. Constantly uh, show how SME's role is important in developing the documentation. Now this is very, really very important. Uh, just 
throughout your process of communication just ensure that uh, how important this me role is uh, or how important they are in developing the document uh, uh, developing the documentation and show to them that they are the ones whom uh, you will be dependent upon to create an accurate documentation and also keep on telling them that uh, they are the ones whom you will be dependent upon in uh, 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 to, to provide accurate information because they are the experts in their own area next time time is the most important factor so, SME's time is very very precious so and uh, if, if your SME's are global uh, like in my case uh, if, you, if they ask me if you if your SMEs are located uh, uh, geographically I mean in the other parts of uh, in various parts of country so uh, I mean it becomes really very difficult to fix an appointment so only option left is either through mail or phone so uh, so the best uh, so the best practice is to uh, choose a preferable mode of communication talk to your SMEs uh, as to how they would prefer to interact whether it will be through uh, mail or a phone or or if you have a chat then you can probably even uh, chat with your SMEs to build a rapport. Uh, next is I means uh, this is I have been talking about uh, in a number of times in this session try to build a rapport with your SMEs by a usual check chat or over a cup of coffee if you are uh, located uh, physically uh, if the SME is physically present so just go go over to, uh, to the workstation and I mean, ask them for a cup of coffee uh, to understand a concept or probably take them for a lunch or a dinner basically uh, I means to have to build a rapport with them uh, not to not be too much friendly uh, just but maintain a professional relationship uh, but also at the same time uh, build up a uh, rapport with them to uh, understand a, a particular concept to develop a documentation last but not the least remind the SMEs of your meetings one day or a, a one day or an hour earlier uh, just to ensure that they attend the meetings on time and they are not uh, I mean it's probably uh, late or I mean as you know SMEs may have tendency to forget uh, as they time especially when they are working on uh, various project time and so it is very crucial for you to send them uh, reminders to uh, uh, to the meetings or uh, it, it can be a friendly reminder as to uh, just uh, just let them know that uh, I mean, Hey, I I would we would be uh, we would appreciate if you would, if you attend this call. Uh, I mean, or you can say that uh, hey, so and so. Uh, I mean, we would uh, uh, we uh, we hope you had received an invite for this particular call. We uh, we will be looking forward to meet you for a discussion on this, this topic. So send him a friendly friendly reminder in order to remind this piece of your meetings. So that's it from my side. Uh, thanks for attending this webinar on SME, Zafo Mars, and Technical Writer for me, uh, Venus. Hope uh, you liked uh, this session. Uh, please, uh, do provide your suggestions or let us know if you, in case you have any issues uh, or if any queries on, on this topic. Uh, you can send, send your queries on. Uh, my mail id that is anuj.anujkapoor at the rate gmail.com i repeat it's anuj.anujkapoor at the rate gmail.com lastly i would again like to thanks adobe for being the webinar sponsor uh, for this particular webinar thank you thank you anuj it was a wonderful webinar um, we can take the uh, audience, you can send your uh, questions to us. We will take your questions offline. Um, and uh, and thanks uh, to Adobe as well for being the webinar sponsor. Thanks everyone.
for attending the 